Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to show you how to export your backlog to Excel. Let's begin. Now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time here in Jira, I need you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Exporting your backlog to Excel can be useful for reporting analysis or offline work because basically here in Jira some of the analysis are quite limited now using excel it provides the ability to view and manipulate backlog data without needing an internet connection which is i find it very useful for offline work or meeting now for example you have created uh, an issue here i'm gonna type in this one i'm going to do that I'm going to click on x here there should be an option to export okay now if you can't find the export to csv normally you would have an option to export xml no csv i only have an option to export xml export word just click on configure if you find the settings here now if i suggest you go to the filters and click on view all issues and once again if you find the specific backlog that you wanted to uh, export we should be able to have an option to to the csv otherwise just go here at the export issues and there should be an option to export csv like all fields or my defaults and of course you can choose all the issues that you wanted to uh, export but for this um, option i'm just going to uh i'm not gonna select all these just this one maybe i'm going to export that to um csv all fields click that just wait for it now as you can see the file has been exported successfully here on excel all right doing so will enable you to create tailored reports and visualizations such as charts and graphs to meet specific reporting needs because Excel has the ability to view and manipulate backlog data without needing an internet connection. And of course, it allows you to combine data from different sources, facilitating a broader view of project or portfolios. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.